Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we are going to be having a little bit of a catch up. Um, it has been a while, it's been a good couple of months I think now since I last put a video out. Um, or it could be a little less than that. But anyway, we have got loads of things to have a look through. Um, just a quick catch up really of bits and bobs that I've bought um, from various different places. And also we are going to be having a little sneak peek at bits and bobs that I will be bringing to the channel over the next um, three or four videos. So stay tuned, let's crack on with the video. And it's great to be back. I'm really happy to be uh, recording videos again. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to be looking at is some post. Okay, um, these are bits and bobs that I've bought and we're gonna be going through all this lot. So let's put that over there. Now I've been having a um, thing for the Beatrix Potter bunk packs. Now, I'm, I'm an avid collector of bunk packs, but for some reason, when the Beatrix Potter ones came out, I, nev I never bought them. Um, obviously, they were circulated, so I spent more time trying to find them and change, rather than go for the bunk packs. But they, uh, they are missing from my collection, and it is, I have been trying to source them. Now, before I do crack on, I'm just going to put a little list up on the video. If any of you guys have got any of these bunk packs for sale or for trade, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I would really appreciate that because uh, if we can get a hold of them last few ones, it would be brilliant. So the first one we're going to be having a look at, now this was fantastic, this was um, brilliant. I got this for £1.75 off eBay and it is a pretty much pristine Benjamin Bunny. I couldn't, I couldn't believe I couldn't believe I got this for so cheap. I won it in an eBay auction. Um, there was no um, questions or refusal to sell from the buyer. He was quite happy to send me this for £1.75 with free post. So I was well made up of that. Of course, it's a Benjamin Bunny. It's a really popular bunk. Uh, and of course, it's a popular circulated coin as well. Uh, one of the highest minted coins um, in recent years, to be fair. But it's a nice coin and it's be added to the collection. So that's that one there. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And of course, it is from good old Bowski, Bow Selector Coins. Now, I do buy quite a, a bit of uh, Bow. Now, you can tell how old this video is because he's still winding me up about England losing in the Euro Finals. I can't believe it. It's not coming home. It certainly isn't, but we did well to get to the finals, nevertheless. So again, with the usual um, Coins and Snow UK, it's not coming home. And of course, bow and all the stamps, that must take you forever to stick on. But I'm finding myself just buying stuff from bow just to get the personalised envelopes. <laughs> you really can't beat it. So what did I buy from bow? Let's have a look. Again, a nice little bargain. I got the Paddington Bunks. So I think one's a 2008, oh, hang on, it says that on the front. So this is um, at the Palace. 2018 and again another really nice quality bunk so there we are good old paddy i'm not going to get into these um it'll take me forever to record all the individual reviews and here we have the 2019 paddington at st paul's brilliant and circulated coin and again these are the two that i was missing from my paddington bunk date one kind of thing so Bo did sort me them out and of course, um, Bo does have a YouTube channel. Please go and subscribe to him. He's a fantastic fella. And he's got he's also got a Facebook um, selling page as well, which is really good. I do recommend uh, people tracking that down on Facebook. I'll try and leave a link in this video. But there's loads of good bargains to be had on there as well. It is a, it is a very fair coin selling group. So again, thank you so much, Bo, for them. Two Paddington coins. And the price was fantastic. Okay, so what have we got next? Um, let's have a little look. Have Pete opened most of these? And of course, it is another Beatrix Potter bunk bag. Again, another bargain. This one was £6.75, and I can't remember if this was off eBay or one of the uh, Discord selling pages. I can't quite remember, but I do remember I paid £6.75 for this. And again, it is really good quality. It's been well looked after. And an absolute bargain as well. So another one to add to my Beatrix Potter bunk collection. Now you're kind of getting the uh, gift of all this. Okay, so um, this one is, I think, again, a Beatrix Potter bunk. Here we go. Let's open that. 
And this time we have got good old Tom Kitten. Again, I think I paid about £9 for this one. For some reason, I struggled to get Tom Kitten quite cheap. Um, so I did end up paying £9 with postage, which again is a really good bargain. I was really happy with that. And another one to add to the Beatrix Potter day run. Now what we'll do is, as you can see, I've got quite a few already here. So we've got Miss Tittlemouse, um, the Royal Mint, uh, Beatrix Potter, 150th anniversary. We've got Miss Tiggy Winkle, Jemima Puddle Duck. Um, I did this as a trade, well made up with that one. I thought I'd struggle on Jemima, but she was quite easy to get hold of. We've got Mr. Jeremy Fisher, we've got the Taylor of Gloucester, and we've got the Peter Rabbit from 2019, I believe. Yeah, 2019. So again, we've got a fair few bunks just there, and I'm only missing three or four. And again, I'll leave the little um, sheet of coins that I do need. Uh, again, if you've got any of those there, uh, please just leave me a comment and I shall get in touch. Now, last but not least is in this little envelope. Um, this was one of my best bargains of the past couple of months. I'm going to ignore that. I've been doing something. I think that was when I was covering up the uh, addresses on the envelopes. I've coloured myself in. So we've got two two pound coins and again these were bought off a discord selling page um, i think i paid 20 pounds for these two well no it was 22 22 pounds including postage for these two and uh, based on the price you can guess what they are so we have got england commonwealth two pound coin and then we have got a wales so really really chuffed to pick them up and not a bad price to be fair and again they're going to be going up in the collection um apart from olympics i've i've been buying quite a few sets of these just lately i think i've got about four or five now i'm just missing some um, northern island commonwealths um they're a bit harder to get hold of especially when you're buying them but again if anyone's got any northern island commonwealth um two pound coins for sale please let me know in the comments uh, below so yeah um i can't remember who I bought these off. I'm absolutely terrible at this. But again, yeah, 20, 22 pounds with postage for them too. And a really nice bargain. So let's put you two down there where I can see you. This camera's a little bit different. Let's just move you again. I think I'll put you up there for a minute so the light can get you a bit better. So yeah, been a busy old bee, uh, buying loads to be fair. And I can't wait to get these Beatrix Potter bulk packs finished. The pain in the bum. Uh, but I need them, OCD with bulk packs, I just need them, so yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all these up for a second and move them to the side because, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a little talk about what we're going to be doing on the channel over the next few videos. Okay, so one of the videos will be this. Now, this is what I got from a charity shop. Um, I got a tip off about this from one of my friends. He said, you know, pop into the charity shop and buy this tub of coins. When I bought this, it was covered in black tape and it had a lid on. I had no idea what was in this. But as you can see, it's, oh, look at the state of the bottom of this tub. It's absolutely disgusting. But I'll give you a little sneaky peek. And uh, these will be featured on a video very soon. I'm not going to show you no more because it will be too much of a spoiler. But this is a really good video and there's some absolute beautiful, beautiful coins in this box. And I can't wait to show you that video. Um, so let's put this to one side. Actually, I'm going to put it over there. I'm just going to tease you with a little bit of the corner. And then we're going to resume this bad boy. So um, again, we're going to be continuing this series. Now, this is a big tin of old coins. Uh, world and UK coins. Some big style 50p coins in there. That's one to watch out for, believe me. And then what else have we got? These are like old um, shillings. And bits and bobs like that and then world coins as well in there uh, world coins um, are just terrible but i do enjoy filming them so i will continue with that on my channel just as a little bit of a filler so let's put that over there and then lastly um we're going to be helping a friend out i've got these <coughs> whoa did you see the table shake just then now this is a massive massive box 
I say box, it's a big like a basket full of change. <clears throat> There's tons and tons and tons of pennies and two peas in there. Um, I think my, my father-in-law, he was given these by one of his friends uh, to cash in. So I thought uh, before I do, I'm going to have a look through this to see how many 2,000 pennies and two pennies we can actually find to help Christopher Collects with his world record. So again, that's going to be another good video. And that's just a, a sneaky peek really of what's to come. Um, I've got quite a lot of variety stuff as well. I've been doing some really good coin videos with my children. They're really funny and I hope uh, they, yeah, they do bring a lot of laughs to the channel. I've got loads of things planned and just what you see here is for the next uh, week or two's videos. Some really good stuff, some really nice coins and I do hope you all stick around to watch my videos and continue to support the channel. But as for now, that's it really. Um, a quick catch up. Um, I've just been so busy with work, the summer holidays, the kids have been off. Um, time has just been so sparse at the moment. Um, I've really struggled to record videos, especially at night time because I've just been so tired and all I've wanted to do is sleep. But I am trying to get back into it and I do hope you enjoy um, my future videos. Um, if you did enjoy this one, please leave me a like and of course leave me a comment uh, if you want to. I always endeavour to answer as many questions as I can. Of course, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that's absolutely brilliant as well. And of course, if you press that notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload videos like this. So all that's left me to say is thanks for watching and always remember there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look. See you in the next one.